what's up VC? It's Steve again, Harmless Rebel. Time for another hard rock and heavy metal update. Um, this will be a quick one. I'm still trying to get the, the camera settings all dialed in for the 4K. Actually, remember to put the mic in last time. Last time the sound was kind of wonky. Um, but tell me what you guys think. Um, I, this is my second time recording this. I actually, I guess it's not. Um, I got all the way through the video and then realized I had forgot to, to hit the record button. So I'm an idiot. Uh, so let's uh, just kind of jump in. Uh, in my last video, I mentioned I've been on an Iron Maiden kick. Still am. Been listening to a lot of Maiden lately. Um, this particular album was one of my favorite Maiden albums for years. Um, still is one of my favorites. Um, as I mentioned early on, though, um, I really, when I first got into Maiden back in about 87, I want to say it was about uh, Seven Sun time frame, I really didn't like the Deanna Era albums. And as I've gotten older, those have become my favorite albums. And now... The debut album is by far my favorite, but uh, for years I would have said that it was this one, and uh, this is Power Slave. Um, I recently found this copy. I already have a, a mint copy of this pressing. It's the, the U.S. pressing. Um, however, um, I didn't have a promo copy, so when I saw this in mint condition for 20 bucks, couldn't grab it fast enough. Um, next up, so I showed this in my Record Store Day video. This was one of the releases from Walmart. Um, I had never owned a copy of uh, Resurrected, uh, the Resurrected version of Kiss Destroyer, uh, which is the 2012, I believe, uh, remaster done by, uh, was it Bob Ezrin? Yeah, Bob Ezrin. Um, so they did a great job remastering this. They, they did a great job um bringing in the lows uh, the bass sounds phenomenal especially on god of thunder that's the best sounding song on here i think um but i still have trouble listening to it um they did add the original solo from sweet pain and, and if you listen to it you can tell why they took it out and and had it redone um i think at this point um uh, ace was pretty unhappy with being in the band and uh you can kind of hear it in that solo. It's kind of like he just kind of dialed it in, you know, um, or just called it in. Sorry. But uh, still, it, it sounds really good. Um, but after listening to the original for, for 30 plus years, um, I still prefer the original. I listened to this. I've listened to this three or four times over the last week. And um, though it does, the the, the, mute, the, the the instrumentation does sound phenomenal. Um, I think the vocals got pulled back a little too far on a couple of the songs. And uh, the whole time I'm listening to it, I just want to listen to the original. You know, that 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 sound is just ingrained into my head. Um, even though the drums sound way better in here, the bass sounds a lot better, the guitars are brought a little bit more forward. Um, I just still don't like it as much as the original. Uh, next up, uh, Motorhead. They've been re-releasing the 90s and early 2000s. Um, albums on vinyl finally and uh, i've been grabbing them as they came in um as i've mentioned in the other ones i don't think they did a great job mastering these um I, I, let me take that back i don't think the pressings are great on these there's a little bit of noise on the pressings i don't think they sound as good as the originals um however it is really nice to have them on vinyl they do still sound good it's just me being kind of nitpicky and uh i just love this era i, I love all of the motorhead albums um, you know, a lot of people compare them to ACDC, saying that all of their albums sound the same. And there is some truth to that. Um, however, while I love the early ACDC stuff and don't like most of the later stuff, I love everything that Motorhead ever released. And uh, during this period, uh, the 90s and the early 2000s, uh, Lemmy's voice got a little bit more melodic and he, he sung a little bit more. Um, and you can really hear it in here on songs like uh, Walk a Crooked Mile, which is one of my favorite uh um songs on this album or if you go and listen to uh work for labor um you can really hear that where he's actually singing um this also has serial killer which is a phenomenal song and then uh, uh brave new world just a killer album uh, definitely recommend grabbing that one uh next up probably one of the most important metal bands uh, one of the most influential metal bands that most metal heads have probably never heard of and it's sad these guys should be superstars. Just amazing albums. This is considered their weakest album, uh, which may be true, but I still love this album beginning to end. Um, there is one song that I find kind of weak. Uh, other than that, though, I, I love the album. 
but this is uh, Paradise Lost. This is the last full-length album um, from the band from 91. Uh, this is a recent repress from two or three years ago, a 2016 repress. Um, I absolutely love this album. Um, it's not the, the slow, doomy-sounding um, albums that you get from their second and third album, which their second album is one of the all-time best metal albums, and I highly recommend checking out their first few. Um, just such an amazing band, and what's really nice to note is that the pre-order is up for their first new album since 91, so I'm super excited to, uh, to, to get a copy of that. Um, the only weak song on here is The Troll, which is the second song on the album, and what makes it weak is the chorus. Um, during the hook, they're just saying that he just says the troll over and over again, and it kills the song. Um, that song is definitely one that would fit in their discography perfectly, if not for that. Uh, they do a, a, a really killer cover of Fire from Arthur Brown. Um, I actually prefer this to the original, and I really like the, the original song. Uh, the real standout tracks here on the B-side, though. Um, the second song on the B-side, Chaos Rising, is one of my all-time favorite Sirius Ungle songs. Uh, Fallen Idols is amazing. Paradise Lost. Uh, Go It Alone is the one track that most people complain about, and it's the least. it sounds the least like Sirius Ungle. Um, it's definitely, they were going for kind of a, a radio hit, maybe. Um, it definitely has that sound. Um, I still love the song. It, it's the one song everybody complains about. Uh, still a killer song, though. Highly recommend grabbing a copy of this if you can find it. Highly recommend pre-ordering the new album that comes out, I believe, next month. Uh, next up, a little bit of Overkill. Uh, this is the Fuck You EP. Actually, the last three I'm going to show here are all EPs. Um, this was released in 87. This is a live EP with, uh, Rotten to the Core, Hammerhead, Use Your Head, Electro Violence, which I love that song. Electro Violence, and actually their sound, I love the early Motorhead sound where they have a, um, the vocals have a very Jello Biafra feel to them. So it's that, that thrash punk that I absolutely love. And, uh, them live. I, so I was supposed to see them live two weeks ago. Um, really upset that I didn't. I've always wanted to see these guys live. I had tickets in hand. I was actually getting into the car and about to head to the show when we got a message from the school that one of the teachers um, at my at my daughter's school had been exposed to coronavirus and that our children had been exposed. Um, and I kind of battled with myself in my head and decided to stay home just in case I had been exposed through my daughter. Um, I was kind of afraid to pass that on. And that was when they first started closing schools here and they first started saying don't attend concerts. So between that and the fact of what was hitting the news, I decided to stay home. So I still haven't seen Overkill live. Um, I still can't decide in my head whether I made the right decision. I'm sure I did. I, I know I did. But it's just that whole thing that I've always wanted to see them live. Next up, we've got uh, Canadian... Uh, new Wave of Traditional Metal Band, Thunderdome. Another one I highly recommend picking up. This is their first EP, um, their first release. Um, very, they've got kind of a motorhead, a, a, like a bluesy speed metal feel that, that I really dig. And the singer, although his voice is not as deep, um, he very much sounds like Lynn Danzig. And it's a really cool mix with that speed metal and the bluesiness that you would have gotten from the early Danzig albums. Uh, another one, they're, they're Canadian, I believe they're from Ontario. I, I love the artwork. Um, I love that album cover. Um, very cool, An another one I recommend picking up. And then last but not least, uh, this is a German, I don't know if you would call them new wave of traditional metal. I mean, they definitely fit in that genre, but they're more of a 70s hard rock band. Um, I would say, Thin Lizzy with maybe a little bit of Outlaws. They have kind of a Southern rock feel. Um, I read one of the reviews that was kind of hilarious where they were kind of messing with the band because it's a German band. The name of the band is Cherokee and the name of the album is Wakan Tonka Nietzsche Un, which apparently is in the Lakota language. So um, they're named after one Indian band and then the title is from another Native American tribe. So regardless, uh, really killer. Um, like I said, kind of a, a Southern rock tinged uh, Thin Lizzy sound 
female fronted band. Um, her voice is phenomenal. The, the one downside to this is her English is not good and it's really broken. And the second song on the A side, the Yellow King is a slower song. And you really hear how, how bad her English, I don't want to say how bad, but uh, you really hear the broken English and it kind of hurts the album. Um, the other three songs are phenomenal. They're faster songs. Um, I'm now on the lookout. They have two cassette demos that were released in 14 and 15. This is from 2018, this EP. Um, I really look forward to full-length releases from both of these bands, both bands that I highly recommend checking out. Um, that's it, guys. I hope everybody's doing good. Um, hopefully, uh, in the next week, I plan to do a... 70s hard and heavy album a lot of people have been requesting me to do one of those especially Corey. we've been talking back and forth about me doing one and uh i want to do another at least one more comparison uh pressing comparison or pressing wars videos this week too so um, i'm gonna do what i can to get those out uh other than that uh, take care i hope everybody's doing good staying safe subscribe uh and i'll see you soon